I, I, you know what? One thing that I, what really stuck with me was the fact that when I, when I first met him and we came into contact with each other, he said, look, B, I want you to know now I'm not trying to act this role. I want to become you. I want to experience what you experienced. And he put his, his, he put his money where his mouth was. He put the, I wore a GPS tracking device on my ankle after I got out of prison for five years. It didn't come off for 24 seven. And, um, he wanted to had that on for five years. Yeah, for five years, and he wanted to know what that felt like. And so, when right when we got on set, him and Tom took that same. Justin kept it, you know. After I cut it off my leg, and they put it on his leg, and he wore it the entire time that he was on set. And I remember one time we went to a uh, we shot the film in Memphis. We went to a Grizzlies game. We sit in courtside, and here he is courtside. He's got this thing on his ankle, and I'm sitting there, and there's a part of me that feels sorry for him. Even though I know he was doing it for a role, I'm sitting there and I'm feeling for him. And I'm thinking like, man, somebody probably could see it. What if somebody does see it? What is he going to say? Well, that's probably what he wanted was to experience the feeling of what that yeah. having that thing on and yeah. having people look at him and notice it. But that's how much he wanted to make. That's how much he wanted this to be as authentic as he could make it. And I respected that so much about him. So as far as I'm concerned, he went above and beyond to capture the essence of this story. He accomplished it, succeeded. And I don't know much about awards, but this man deserves an Oscar or something above because he told a true story in its, in it, in its authentic form and people are touched by the way he performed and, and did that. You know, there's a scene in the movie and it's also a, a moment from your life where uh, your accuser Facebooks you after you've been um, out of uh, prison for how long had you been out by the time I had been out for nine years. You'd been out for nine years. Well, I had been, excuse me, I had been out for four years. Four I had years, done yeah. five years and two months thought, yeah. and then five years of parole. So four years into the five years of parole, I'm sitting at home, I'm looking for a job, I'm bored. So I get on Facebook, I click the box of friend requests and there it was, friend requests. What was that like? What was that moment like? The movie captures it well, but I also yeah, feel like I, yeah. it could never actually capture the feeling yeah. a human being would have in that moment. Yeah, I, I don't want to spoil the film, but I will say... Um, You're sitting here, it's spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you I'm here. You don't have an ankle. I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, it, it, it was... Uh, I didn't believe that it was her. I thought somebody was playing some sick joke right. with some fake account that just wanted to pull at me and I remember just having this out of body experience where I was just when I saw the request it just put me into a shock I, everything that I had gone through those past nine years started to resurface and I and I, I like had this like relapse almost of just this this can't be her at this moment after everything that I've been through trying to be my friend now and so I had to dig further into finding out if it was her and you'll see it in the film 